Hello, welcome back to USS Cod Submarine Memorial. I'm President Paul Ferrace, and we are standing on Barge 225. Uh, since 1992, Barge 225 has been our neighbor here in uh, North Coast Harbor in Cleveland. Sadly, uh, very short, uh, shortly from now, uh, Barge 225 will leave uh, our little harbor area and uh, find uh, a new mission in nearby Euclid Harbor. But uh, for now, it's going to give us a beautiful uh, uh, perspective of uh, one of the uh, more misunderstood aspects of the design of the fleet submarine. I'm talking about those uh, prop guards down there, those pipes that straddle the, uh, the back uh, portion of our superstructure. Well, not our superstructure, actually our, our pressure hull and the, uh, the structure, the free flooding structure around our after torpedo tubes. Uh, as the name implies, prop guards are there to protect the uh, submarine's two propellers which are eight foot in diameter, uh, phosphor bronze uh, alloy, very sharp. And you don't want to ding those uh, against another ship or, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the pier that we're uh, nest, nested to. Uh, in an active Navy harbor, you don't want to smack them against the pier, and you also don't want to smack them against other ships, particularly thin-hulled uh, uh, destroyers and destroyer escorts. Uh, the quarter-inch plate will get cut like tinfoil by our props. So these heavy-duty steel pipes uh, keep the uh, submarine far enough away so as not to endanger uh, the propellers or to keep uh, other ships far enough away so that they aren't damaged uh, by our propellers. A lot of people seem to think that... Uh, the prop guards are there to uh, protect the submarine from mine cables and all that. And, and in fact, that's not the case. Um, Pre-war, the American fleet submarine had permanently mounted prop guards. But on those early war patrols, apparently the Japanese were using grappling hooks in a couple of situations. And the thought was that uh, having uh, that pipe structure there would just be too uh, inviting or too much of a risk for uh, somebody's grappling hook. So in August of uh, 1942, the uh, Fleet Submarine Command in the Pacific was ordered to remove their prop guards. Uh, in fact, um, when we were shown early uh, side-scan sonars of the wreckage of the USS Grunion, uh, we initially didn't believe it was Grunion because the, the vessel in the images had very prominent prop guards. And, you know, these are also found on cruisers and destroyers as well. Uh, it turns out, however, that when Grunion departed from, for her first and sadly fatal final patrol um, in June of 42, she had her prop guards mounted and the order to remove them came after she had already departed Pearl Harbor. Now, when submarines on patrol uh, came back into harbor for a long period of uh, refit, the Navy would put on uh, clamp-on prop guards uh, to protect, again, the submarine and the uh, surrounding ships from damage. So in World War II, on a patrol, COD didn't have prop guards. When she comes into San Francisco Bay for uh, her uh, Mare Island refit from December of 44 uh, through February of 45, she's got clamp-on prop guards. Now, sometime uh, uh, before her reactivation in 1951, the Navy welds permanent prop guards back on. Not all fleet boats have them. Uh, I believe Cobia has them, as does Silversides. Um, Torsk doesn't. Uh, I don't believe, no, Pampanito doesn't have them. Um, I know Croker um, doesn't have them, and I don't believe Cavalla has them. Um, but uh, they certainly are, are very helpful uh, when you're uh, coming alongside and uh, in a boat and you need to uh, get aboard really quick to give you something to moor off of. Uh, here we are in this uh, civilian mooring. Uh, it's a little bit of a problem because the uh, private boats uh, 
if uh, we get a really heavy wind, uh, they might be banging themselves against our prop guards, in fact, as they have. Uh, but this back end of the cod, uh, often hidden from the public, so we can call this hidden history. Um, and you can see the turtle back uh, right uh, there below the uh, flag. You know, the old joke goes, uh, only submarines have um, bull noses and turtle backs. The bull nose, of course, is that cylindrical tube up on the very tip of the upper bow uh, to allow mooring cables and ropes to come through or line. Uh, back aft, that curved section is called the turtle back, and uh, that is the distinctive electric boat or, or uh, um, uh, Manitowoc uh, design. It's very beautiful, curvilinear. Uh, there's a very narrow, pointy turtle back on Portsmouth design subs. But uh, there's our prop guards. Uh, they uh, protect the back end of the boat. They're surrounding... Uh, our aft four tubes, and we thought you'd like to know about that. So uh, remember to hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell, and uh, we'll be back with more. Thank you.